Hey, what's up everybody? So, I have gone out on a limb. I guess not really a limb because there's a lot of contemplation about it. I'm getting a new guitar. I'm super excited about it. And the reason why I'm a little on edge right now is because it's supposed to be getting delivered today by FedEx. And uh, there's been a sneaky little FedEx man that's driven past the house twice now. He might be delivering it right now, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm using this video so that I can uh, document my first reaction. I've only bought guitars secondhand or have had them gifted to me. I haven't like window shopped and been like, okay, this is exactly what I want. So I'm super excited about this and I can't wait to have it. It's a seven string guitar as well. I've been playing guitar for, I think 10 years now. And I messed around with seven string guitars a couple times, uh, I got to use my friend Jacobs for like a couple weeks once, and I loved it, and it kind of just solidified that I needed to get a seven string guitar. I don't know when they'll be here. It's been out for delivery since like 7.30 this morning, but word is around the house that they'll come anytime between like noon and four, and I gotta leave it just a little bit before four to go to work. So, fingers crossed, I'm really hoping that it gets here soon so that I can play with it for a little bit because it's currently 1224, but I'll go ahead and check in back with you guys once I get the guitar in my hands and we'll open it together. I'm super excited. I'll catch you guys then. Now we're back. As you can see, I have almost no time to open this before I have to go to work, but I got it from Sweetwater. Shout out to the boys and my... Uh, my sales rep, Jonathan, I appreciate it, man. Get me all hooked up with something that I want. And go ahead and open this thing, and I'm so excited. I don't know what's in here, except I know that, I, well, I've heard that Sweetwater gives you candy in your boxes when you order things from them. You got a sticker, hell yeah. Thank you for choosing Sweetwater. Oh shit. So I got my receipts, five free issues of Premier Guitar. Got this little thing, it says happy hashtag new gear day from Sweetwater. And uh, they just want you to post a picture of yourself and tag them on it so that they can see how happy you are to get it. You got some padding here. And then a box inside of another box. And it says Jackson on it. So I'm getting myself a Jackson seven string. This box is ginormous. Oh, and there's a there's a big ass book in there. All right, but we got Jackson on the screen. This merchandise has been carefully inspected. I feel like a kid on Christmas. So my armpits are sweating so bad. Also, don't know which side of the box this is. Oh, that's the top of it. Oh shit. It'll be easier if I open this on the floor. I know. Those staples are out. Now. Oh snap. I'm gonna put this down. Clear some space real quick. Oh cool. Gave me some things to adjust my truss rod. Oh. Grab this again. That is so light. I can't believe how light this thing is. Let's see the finish on the headstock poking out. Damn. That thing is good looking. Holy shit. First inspector, final inspector, my serial number. And they got their 55 point checklist for all the things that they checked off to make sure that it's all good. Wow, this thing is sick looking. Holy shit, I'm really sweating now. I really can't believe how light this thing is. Do you always do it from the bottom? Like the way I'm supposed to do it? Did it burn? It's just fucking... <laughs> Damn oh it! God, that sucks. That sucks so bad. God, it does. I can change it really quick though. All right, so now we got it. The only string that wasn't in tune was the E string and that's because right when I tuned it up, it snapped, but that's all good. I got an extra set that I can slap on here. Wow. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go to work and wait all day to play this damn thing, but it is so good looking. It's got seven strings. I think these are called piranha tooth inlays on here. Super tiny. The back looks like this. We got passive Seymour Duncan pickups on it. Five-way selector switch. And the neck feels so nice. This is exactly the kind of neck I was wanting. Well, I'll probably have to come at you tomorrow when I get this thing plugged into an amp. Super excited about it. 
All right, so it's been a couple days and I've been really getting to know this guitar pretty well now. Uh, it's starting to feel really comfortable to play, but it really honestly started feeling comfortable to play as soon as I started playing it. The neck doesn't feel too wide and it sounds great. I mean, that's like the, the biggest thing for me is it looks great and it also sounds great. We're gonna go through the specs here really quick. All right, so to quickly go over the specs of this guitar, we got a gloss finish, soloist body shape, mahogany body material, so white binding, poplar burl top, one piece maple neck with an oiled finish, 25 and a half inch scale length. The fingerboard radius is 12 to 16 inch compound radius. Ebony fretboard, 24 frets. They're jumbo stainless steel. We got piranha tooth inlays. There is a truss rod adjustment at the nut. Reverse Jackson headstock. We also have Jackson locking tuners. And for the pickups, we got direct mount Seymour Duncan SH67 distortion humbucking in the bridge and the neck pickup. There's a master volume and a master tone knob. And for the pickup selection, we got a five way selector. Position one is the bridge pickup. Position two is the inner coil of the bridge and middle pickup. Position three is neck and bridge outer coil. Position four is the neck and middle pickup. And position five is the neck pickup. And if you don't know what locking tuners do, a quick little rundown is it alleviates you having to wind the string around the, the tuning peg up here when you're changing the string. So you can just essentially loosen the lock put the string through and then lock it. And then you can just start tuning up from there so you don't have to worry about having to fiddle around with getting it around the peg and then starting to tune up and worrying if the string's gonna slip out or anything like that. I've had to change a string on here once already and it was smooth and seamless. It was the fastest I'd ever change a string and the most comfortable I'd ever change a string. As far as the frets are concerned on the sides, they are cut perfectly fine. If you get it stock, um, it comes with 9 through 54 strings on it. They're nickel plated. Go ahead and show you guys some tones about what the pickups sound like. I'm just going to play some simple chords just so you guys get a simple idea about it. Um, but here we go on the bridge position. <laughs> second position here I feel like this one sounds a little bit more spanky got the third position a little bit more rounded kind of bassy too we got the fourth position here even more it sounds a little bit more rounded and then we have the neck pickup here. Pretty standard. My favorite position to play uh, as far as clean tones are concerned is in the second position. I feel like... got like articulation but it's still crisp and clear it's not too bassy it's almost kind of in your face but not like not too much I feel like just to do another quick little comparison of all of them first position this is a second third position fourth and fifth position so kind of subtle differences between some of them, but there are a few that just sound way different. And uh, from where I came from was, I had an ESP uh, stock active pickups in my old guitar. And just the amount of different voicings you get from these pickups, incredible. They also sound great. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it sounds like on a gain channel. So. I have no qualms with either of these pickups on a gain channel. They both sound amazing. Obviously the neck pickup more for lead tones, but the lead tone on the bridge pickup does not sound that bad either. But I really obviously have not been using the other selections for 
plain gain sounds. It just sounds not as great unless I was going for something like I've really just been playing Nevermore and stuff like that. I have not been playing like some country tunes or anything like that. So for the bridge, we got. second position third position fourth position position So it sounds great. Um, I have no qualms with really anything about this guitar at all. And I'm mainly making this video just because there was no like in-depth review of this guitar as a whole. I think the only one that was on there was, uh, it was by Adam Bentley. He got sent one of these and uh, it was just kind of like in a mix. You could see how it sounded. You could kind of hear how it sounded, but I feel like it would have been a little bit more helpful for me to know that this is the guitar I wanted if I had actually had like a more in-depth version of it. So this is for you guys out there that is looking for, you know, a wonderful guitar to play. I feel like this is a great seven string to get your hands on. It's 25 and a half inch scale length. It sounds good in low tunings. The, only, the lowest tuning I've gone on it is uh, drop A. So I'm not going super low, especially because I'm just using nine through 54s on here. Um, if I was using anything more, I feel like I could have wonderful down tunings, but yeah hip shots amazing pickups are amazing the Back of the neck is oiled. It feels like natural wood wonderful frets um, Nothing's jutting out on the sides these inlays were a little hard for me to get used to I'm still getting used to them um, But I think that's a personal thing because on my old guitar They kind of covered up, you know the middle of the frets and now they're just on the very tops so thankfully I got some muscle memory and these dots up on top were obviously helping. But yeah, I mean, great guitar. I have nothing bad to say about it. The finish is wonderful. I love looking at this thing. Every time I take it out of the case, I'm like, hell yeah. If you're looking to get something similar to this, now you kind of know what to expect, especially from these pickups. Um, and just if you guys were concerned, this is a Randall RG103 head. Um, it's a solid state. Yeah, I mean, it's not the rig I use that much anymore, but it's the easiest thing I could use to show you guys what is going on with this guitar. Hopefully this video helps you make a decision for what you're looking for, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.